Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing 10 DIY Christmas ornaments. Starting out with this first ornament, I found these little rounds at Dollar Tree and I thought that they would make perfect little ornaments. So I went ahead and I painted all of these with two coats of my white chalk paint to cover up what was already on them. Then I'm going to be using some of my stamps that I got from Amazon. Again, I always have everything I use linked below for you if you are interested. But for this first one, I did a Christmas tree. And then for this one, I'm doing a reindeer and sled. And for the third one, I ended up using the little music note stamp that came with all of my stamps. And then I just used the silent night stamp. Then to finish these off and pretty much all of the ornaments that I'm making, I'm using this gorgeous gorgeous gold velvet ribbon. I also have some red velvet ribbon that you'll see later on some other projects, but I just used this on pretty much all of my ornaments because I just think it is so pretty. And again, I got it from Amazon and I'll have it linked below. And once I had all the ribbon attached, I ended up adding a few little bows. These next two ornaments are actually separate ornaments. I'm going to start by painting these white in the center of both of these wood rounds. And I actually got these wood rounds from Dollar Tree, but I also have some that are from Walmart or from Hobby Lobby as well. Now, like I said, both of these are actually two separate ornaments. And for this first one, I'm just drawing out a basic Christmas tree shape. And then I'm going to go back in with my hot glue gun and I'm going to trace over all of those little limbs and the tree that I drew. And then once I have the tree covered with hot glue, I'm going to let that totally cool off and then I'll go back in and add another layer of hot glue. And you can kind of see I'm going in between where I had hot glued the first time and then also on top of there. I'm not sure if you can totally make it out, but you can kind of start seeing the shape of a layered Christmas tree on here. And then I just went ahead and painted the whole thing white to start with. Then I'm going to go back in and paint the tree with some of my antique gold paint. Then to highlight some of the top branches, I went back in with a little bit of my copper metallic paint and just very lightly painted over that. Now for the second wood round that I painted, I'm going to take a little spray bottle from Dollar Tree and I mixed up some water and antique gold paint and then I sprayed it with that. Then I'm just going to mark out some holes and we're going to make a little snowflake. So I went ahead and drilled the holes and then I'm going to take some of this Chanel yarn from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take a little bit of tape and just wrap it around the end of that so that it can make the end more sturdy and we can just stick it right through the holes. I went ahead and cut this down to a very long piece, way longer than I needed, but then I just tied a whole bunch of knots in the end, and then I can just thread this through all the little holes that we made. All I'm doing is putting it right through the coordinating hole, and then from the back, I will push it back through the hole and over top to the next one. Once I was finished, I just went ahead and cut the yarn down and I tied another knot at the very end. And then of course, I'm adding some more of my velvet ribbon. This time I added some of my red velvet ribbon and just tied a knot at the top. Thank you. 
For the next ornament, you're going to grab one of these clear ornaments from Dollar Tree and we're going to go ahead and again mix some water in a spray bottle with whatever color paint you'd like. I'm again using my antique gold paint and then you're just going to shake that up really well and we're going to start spraying this down into the ornament. Now this technique is very similar to just pouring paint down in the ornament to color it except for this is going to give it a more translucent look. Now once you have enough paint sprayed down in there and you have swirled it all over the ornament, you can go ahead and sit this upside down to let it dry. Just make sure to move it around so the paint comes out. And this is what mine ended up looking like after it was all dry. You can kind of see, you can still see through it just a little bit. And then for the fun part, I grabbed some Dollar Tree spackling and I'm just going to use my hand and spread this all over the ornament to make it look snow covered. Once I was finished rubbing this all over the ornament, I set it aside to dry for about 24 hours and then I grabbed some of my Aileen's acrylic sealer and I sprayed this whole thing just in case because I didn't want any of the spackling to fall off. For this next ornament, I'm going to be using some of Dollar Tree's wreath ties and these are some that I had already painted over with some white chalk paint, but I did go ahead and cut these down and then I'm going to be adding a lot more of that white chalk paint because I really wanted these to look snow covered. Once the paint was dry, I went ahead and twisted these into wreath shapes and then all I'm going to do is just trim these down a little bit just to make them look a little bit bit neater and I did the outside and a little bit on the inside as well. Then I went ahead and added some more of that gold velvet ribbon and just wrapped this around the wreath and tied it at the top. Then I decided to add some of these gold Dollar Tree bells but I wanted to antique them first so I'm just taking some of my burnt umber paint and I'm gonna brush this over and then I'm just using my finger to kind of wipe some off and pat it around to make it look antique. I didn't use my antiquing wax on these because it just rubs right off of these bells. Once those were dry, I went ahead and added a little piece of the velvet ribbon just through the bell and I'm going to snip the edges of this and hot glue it to the front of my wreath. For these next two ornaments, I'm using Dollar Tree's fabric gift bags. These are some burlap bags. One of these I got last year and the other I got this year. But all I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the centers out of these little bags. And I'm leaving a little bit of that burlap edging on these as I cut them down. I'm going to be using some of these Dollar Tree cotton balls to stuff these ornaments. I like to pull these apart just so that the stuffing isn't all lumpy, but I'm going to hot glue most of this ornament together, just leaving the top part open so that I can stuff it. Now you can go ahead and stuff these as much as you want. I didn't put a ton of the cotton balls in here because I just wanted it to be just a little stuffed and then I'm just going to hot glue that top part together to finish it all. Then to add some final touches to these, I just took my sanding block and went around the edges to fray that burlap. And finally, I just poked some holes through these so that I could hang them. For this next ornament, you're again going to grab one of Dollar Tree's clear ornaments and then I'm going to be mixing some of my white chalk paint with a little bit of baking soda and I'm going to paint this with two coats of that paint and baking soda. 
Now once the ornament is completely dry, I'm going to be using some of this Barnabas gold leaf that I got from Amazon to decorate this ornament. Now all I did was just lay my sheet of gold leaf onto a paper plate and then I added some Mod Podge where I wanted that gold leaf to stick. Now I did put way too much Mod Podge. You really just need a super thin layer because the thicker you put the Mod Podge, then it's going to make your gold leaf kind of wrinkle a little bit bit so if you want it to be more neat and straight then don't put as much Mod Podge but once I had the Mod Podge on I let it get tacky and then I just sat my ornament down onto the gold leaf paper and I'm going to be using a dry paintbrush to kind of push and dab this gold leaf onto the ornament. Now they do have specific glue for gold leafing but Mod Podge or any water-based glue works just as well. Then once I was finished kind of dabbing this gold leaf onto there, I did crumple up another sheet of the gold leaf and added it into a couple little spots where I thought that I wanted more gold leafing. I let this completely dry for about 24 hours and then I did spray it with some of my sealer before I could hang it. For the next ornament, I am using one of Dollar Tree's little foam balls. I think these come in a pack of three, but I'm also using one of these microfiber towels. Now you can use any fabric for this. This is just what I had and what I wanted to use. But then I'm just going to cut this microfiber towel down into small squares. These are about maybe two or three inch squares that I'm using. Just remember the larger your squares, then the larger your ornament is going to be. Now once I had a bunch of little squares cut down, I'm just going to take the end of a paint brush and I'm going to fold my squares over top of that edge, add some hot glue, and then push these into the foam ball. And that's all you're going to do for this ornament. You're just going to keep going around and pushing those squares down into your foam ball to make this look kind of like a fluffy snowball. Now once I had about half of my snowball done, I went ahead and added in some of that red velvet ribbon as a hanger and then I just continued stuffing my foam ball with my squares. For my next ornament, I grabbed some of my air dry clay and I'm going to go ahead and roll that out. Then if you remember when we made those wreaths, I cut down a bunch of the little ends off of there. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to spread them all over my piece of clay. Then I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and lay it over the clay and roll that down into my clay. And then you can take any cookie cutter or any shape and cut out of this clay. And once you have one ornament made, you can just go ahead and put little holes in the top of these. And then for that leftover clay, you can just continue to ball it up, roll it out, and add more little greenery. And you can continue to make Christmas trees or different designs. It's totally up to you. For this ornament, you're just going to need some paper bags. I just get mine from Dollar Tree. And you're also going to need to trace out or print out a Christmas tree. But then you're just going to cut your bags open and fold those over in half. Then go ahead, cut your little template out and fold that in half as well. Then you're going to put it right at the corner of the bag where the bag folds and you're just going to trace out a bunch of these little Christmas trees. Now I believe I ended up making about 12 or 13 of these little trees and then I just cut them all out of the paper bags.
Now, once you have all your Christmas trees cut out, you're going to go ahead and grab a glue stick. And you can see here, I'm putting a dab of glue right where the top is and where the bottom is. Then you're just going to go ahead and fold these back over and glue them closed. Just make sure for this part, you're only doing the two spots of glue. Now, once that glue is dry, you can go ahead and start gluing your Christmas trees together. And you can see I am doing three spots now, one at the top the middle and the bottom again and just continue gluing all of those Christmas trees together. Now once you have all your Christmas trees glued together go ahead and set that aside to let it dry and once it is dry you can go ahead and add your little hanger with some hot glue right to the spine of all those Christmas trees. Then go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue to one side of those Christmas trees and then you can just pull this over and glue it closed. And then you can just go all the way around your tree and kind of fluff up the paper. And that is going to be it for this ornament video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.